got another clutch. It's a post shed. We're going to show off the parents again. This is the banana cinnamon boy that uh, helped create this clutch. He likes to roam, so I figured I'd just go ahead and pick him up. And I knew he'd want to hold still just on the table. So, rookie boy. It's two jeans, banana cinnamon. Love the yellows and cream colors they make, and all the speckling looks really, really nice. And then Mama here, which she doesn't really do a whole lot of uh, running around, just a normal. So, banana cinnamon boy and the normal female. This is her first clutch, and uh, we'll get to uh, showing the babies here in just a second. All right, and here's the babies. It was five babies in this clutch, as you can see, no normals. This is a lot easier to uh, <laughs> tell than the last clutch I hashed out. Pretty easy, got two bananas and three banana cinnamons. So no normals, which uh, great odds, can't complain. And then three with two jeans and the two with the single banana jeans. So definitely cannot complain. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pop these real quick. See if I get anywhere decently lucky last year. So my Mel is a Mel maker, um, which means most of what he produces that are banana should be Mel. Everything else should be female. So technically most of this clutch, if not all, should be all Mel's. Um, but last year, a couple of my three juniors, or one of my, yeah, two of my three juniors that he produced for me end up being girls. So with that said, these cute babies, nice little banana cinnamon. You can definitely tell the, the difference. It's not hard to tell when they're babies, which is which. Uh, I mean, you got so many oranges and yellows on the bananas and these things. This lavender and orange is, is just gorgeous. So, let's see what we got. I said I'm expecting all boys. Hoping not, but that's what I'm expecting. So, we'll see what we got here. We got a girl. I'll double check again later. I thought I saw something there at first, but second time I did not. So, check again once you get a little bit more mature, but right now it looks like a girl. All right. Can't complain. Check out a little banana here. See what we got. She's like, no, I saw what you did to her. Oh, it's okay. This one does not want that. It's like, no, I've seen you. I don't want any of that action. Man, that's a boy. Still very easy. Definitely a boy. All right. So, banana boy. It's okay. Calm down. I'm checking another banana cinnamon here. Another gorgeous little baby. Again, looks like a girl. Come here, banana. See what you are. And that's definitely a boy. Not to go any further. So, so far we're two boy bananas and two female banana cinnamons. So let's check this cutie out and see what we got. The last banana cinnamon. And that's a boy. So that one's definitely a boy. I'm going to give the other two a quick double check. See if they relax a little bit. So right now, three boys, two girls. We'll bring the two girls back and maybe do one more check. That's a girl. How about you, little cutie? Nope, nope. That one actually is a boy. 
Just missed it the first time. All right. So, looks like we did get one girl, though. So I will take those odds. So I wanted to double check them. And they're small. Sometimes you got to give them a quick double check. But we got four cute little boys and one cute little girl. So I'll definitely take that. I already have a banana cinnamon. So these two bananas and these two banana cinnamon mills will definitely be up for sale. Um, do not need to keep them. The female I will be holding on to. I definitely have some projects for her. So if anyone's on the market for uh, any cute bananas or cute banana cinnamons, hit me up and I'm sure we can work something out. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe if you, uh, if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one.